This is the BBC Third Programme. Self-accusation, which we're broadcasting now, is described by its author, Peter Hanke, as a play on words. Hanke, who was born in 1942, has in recent years become one of the leaders of the European avant-garde. He's trying to create a new form of theatre in which language becomes autonomous. As he himself has said, my plays on words are dramas without images, insofar as they give no image of the world. They show the world not in the form of images, but in the form of words. And the words of these plays don't point to the world as something that lies outside the words, but to the world as it exists in the words themselves. The speakers in this performance are Margaret Robertson and Dennis Hawthorne. The percussion accompaniment is by Don Lawson. Here, then, is Self-Accusation, a play on words by Peter Handke, translated from the German by Martin Esslin. Self-Accusation. Gendered. I came into being. I grew. I was born. I was entered into the registry of births. I grew older. I moved parts of my body. I moved my body. I moved on the spot. I moved from the spot. I moved from one spot to another. I was compelled to move. I was able to move. I moved my mouth. I came to my senses. I made myself noticed. I cried. I spoke. I heard noises. I distinguished noises, I produced noises, I produced sounds, I produced notes. I produced notes, noises and sounds. I was able to speak, I was able to shout, I was able to be silent. I saw. I saw again what I had seen. I became conscious. I recognized what I had seen. I recognized again what I had seen before. I perceived. I perceived again what I had perceived before. 
I became conscious. I recognized again what I had again perceived. I looked. I saw objects. I looked at objects shown to me. I pointed at objects shown to me. I learned the names of the objects shown to me. I named the objects shown to me. I learned the names of objects that could not be shown. I learned. I retained. I retained the signs I learned. I saw the shapes that had been named. I named similar shapes with the same names. I named the differences between dissimilar shapes. I named absent shapes. I learned to fear absent shapes. I learned to desire absent shapes. I learned the words to wish and to fear. I learned. I learned the words. I learned the verbs. I learned the difference between to be and to have been. I learned the nouns. I learned the difference between the singular and the plural. I learned the adverbs. I learned the difference between here and there. I learned the indicative pronouns. I learned the difference between this and that. I learned the adjectives. I learned the difference between good and evil. I learned the possessive pronouns. I learned the difference between mine and thine. I acquired a vocabulary. I became the object of sentences. I became the attribute of sentences. I became object and attribute of main and subsidiary clauses. I became a movement of the mouth. I became a string of letters. I spoke my name. I said I. I crawled on all fours. I ran. I ran towards something. I ran away from something. I stood up. I left the passive mode. I became active. I walked at an approximately right angle to the earth. I jumped. I defied gravity. I learned to perform my natural functions outside my clothes. I learned to control my body. I learned self-control. I learned how to do things. I was able to do things. I was able to will. I was able to walk on two legs. I was able to walk on my hands. I was able to stay in one place. I was able to stand. I was able to lie still. I was able to crawl on my belly. I was able to pretend to be dead. I was able to hold my breath. I was able to kill myself. I was able to spit. I was able to nod. I was able to deny. I was able to perform gestures. I was able to ask questions. I was able to answer questions. I was able to imitate. I was able to follow an example. I was able to play. I was able to perform an action. I was able to leave an action unperformed. I was able to destroy objects. I was able to compare objects with other objects. I was able to imagine objects. I was able to move objects. I was able to speak objects. I was able to speak about objects. I was able to remember objects. I lived. In time, I thought of beginning and end. I thought of myself. I thought of others. I stepped outside nature. I became. I became unnatural. I came to have. A history. I recognize that I am not you. I was able to communicate my history. I was able to be silent about my history. I was able to want something. I was able not to want something. I made myself. I made myself what I am. I changed. I became another. I became responsible for my history. I became co-responsible for the history of others. I became one history among others. I made the world my own. I became a rational being. I no longer had to obey nature alone. I had to obey rules. <laughs> Thank you.
I became obliged. I became obliged to obey the historical rules of men. I was obliged to perform actions. I was obliged to desist from actions. I was obliged to let things happen. I learned rules. As a metaphor for the rules, I learned what the catch was to each rule. I learned rules of behavior and of thought. I learned rules external and internal. I learned rules for things and for human beings. I learned general and particular rules. I learned rules for this world and the next. I learned rules for air, water, fire and earth. I learned the rules and the exceptions to the rules. I learned the basic rules and the rules derived therefrom. I learned the meaning of ought. I became capable of human society. I became. I became obliged. I became capable of eating with my own hands. I became obliged to avoid soiling myself. I became capable of adopting the manners of others. I became obliged to avoid my own ill manners. I became capable of distinguishing between hot and cold. I became obliged to avoid playing with fire. I became capable of distinguishing between good and evil. I became obliged to avoid evil. I became capable of playing the game according to its rules. I became obliged to avoid infringing the rules of the game. I became capable of seeing the injustice of my actions and of acting in accordance with this insight. I became obliged to avoid misdeeds. I became capable of using my sexual capacity. I became obliged to avoid the misuse of my sexual capacity. I was caught up in the rules. Official cognizance was taken of my personal characteristics. With my soul, I was stained with original sin. With my club number, I was entered into the register of players. With my illnesses, I was entered into a card index. With my company, I was entered into the company register. With my special characteristics, I was noted down in my personal dossier. I, I attained, attained my, my majority. majority. I, I became, became capable of acting on my own, own behalf. behalf. I became capable of entering into contracts. I became capable of a last will and testament. From a point in time, I became capable of sinning. From another point in time, I became capable of being sued in a court of law. From another point in time, I became capable of losing my honor. From another point in time, I became capable of binding myself by contract to the commission or omission of an action. I became liable to fine. I became liable to have a place of residence. I became liable to restore damages. I became liable to pay tax. I became liable to national service. I became liable to attend school. I became liable to be vaccinated. I became liable to take good care. I became liable to pay. I became liable to be examined. I became liable to be educated. I became liable to prove. I became liable to prove my identity. I became liable to report to the police. I became liable to maintain my dependence. I became liable to eviction. I became liable to obey a summons. I became. I became responsible. I became guilty. I became excusable. I had to atone for my history. I had to repent of my past. I had to repent of the past. I had to atone for my time. I came into the world with my time. I looked and listened. I contemplated. I contemplated objects which it was shameless to contemplate. I did not look at objects when not looking at them amounted to a dereliction of duty. I did not watch events which it is petty bourgeois not to watch. 
I did not watch events in an attitude which was prescribed for watching such events. I did not look away during events which it was treasonable to watch. I watched when watching was a proof of bad education. I looked away when looking away was cowardly. I listened to people to whom it was unprincipled to listen. I inspected forbidden ground. I inspected unsafe buildings. I did not look at people who spoke to me. I did not look at people to whom I spoke. I saw films that were not recommended and to be condemned. I heard information harmful to my country on the mass media. I watched games without tickets. I stared at strangers. I looked into the sun without dark glasses. I kept my eyes open during the sex act. I ate. I ate beyond my appetite. I drank beyond my thirst. I incorporated food and drink into myself. I partook of the four elements. I breathed the four elements in and out. I ate at times when to eat was a sign of lacking self-control. I did not breathe in a manner in which it is healthy to breathe. I breathed air which it was beneath my station to breathe. I breathed in when it was dangerous to breathe in. I ate meat on fast days. I breathed without a gas mask. I sat down in the open road. I breathed in exhaust gases. I ate without knife and fork. I did not take time to breathe. I bit the host with my teeth. I did not breathe through the nose. I played. I played false. I played according to rules, which according to the rules then in force were against convention. I played in places and at times when to play was antisocial and unworldly. I played with people with whom it was dishonorable to play. I played with objects with which it was against the ceremonial to play. I did not play in places and at times when not playing was unsociable. I played according to the rules when to play without rules would have been original. I played with myself when to play with others would have been an act of humanity. I played with powers with which it was arrogant to play. I did not take some games seriously. I took some games too seriously. I played with fire. I played with fire lighters. I played with marked cards. I played with human lives. I played with fireworks. I played with my life. I played with emotions. I played myself. I played without a number. I did not play in the time for play. I played with my inclination toward evil. I played with my thoughts. I played with thoughts of suicide. I played on thin ice. I played on alien ground. I played despair. I played with my despair. I played with my genitals. I played with words. I played with my fingers. I was already tainted with original sin when I came into the world. My nature inclined towards evil. Already in the envy of my milk brother, I showed my malice. One day in this world, I was no longer free from sin. Crying, I lusted after my mother's breasts. All I knew was to suck. All I knew was to satisfy my lust. With my reason, I did not want to know the laws immanent in the universe and in my own nature. I was conceived in evil. I was engendered in evil. I gave my malice reign in the destruction of things. I gave my malice reign in stepping on living beings. I was disobedient from a love of play. In playing, I love the emotion of winning. In fantastic tales, I love the thrill in my ear. I defied human beings. I found greater pleasure in the trifles of poets than in useful knowledge. I feared faults of language more than the eternal laws. I allowed myself to be dominated by my palate. I only confided in my senses. I showed no sense of reality. I loved not only the crimes, but the committing of crimes. I 
committed evil with the greatest pleasure when in society. I loved accomplices. I loved being an accomplice. In sin, I loved its danger. I didn't seek after truth. In art, I enjoyed my own sorrow and my self-pity. I indulged in the lust of the eye. I did not recognize the goal of history. I was forgetful of God. I was forgetful of the world. I did not call the world this world. I considered the stars also part of the world. I was sufficient unto myself. I cared only for the things of this world. I did not take cold baths against sadness. I did not take hot baths against passion. I alienated my body from its purpose. I took no account of facts. I did not subordinate my physical nature to my spiritual nature. I denied my own nature. I did not rebel against the nature of things. I longed for power in a disorderly fashion. I longed for money in a disorderly fashion. I did not train myself to acquire a proper relation to money. I lived beyond my means. I could not be satisfied with my condition. I formed my life according to my own will. I did not conquer myself. I did not take my place in society. I disturbed the eternal order. I did not recognize that evil is only the absence of good. I did not recognize that evil is disorder. In my sins, I gave birth to death. Through sin, I made myself the equal of the cattle about to be slaughtered, yet still smelling the iron by which it is to be slaughtered. I did not resist beginnings. I did not find the time to stop. I made myself an image of the All-Highest. I did not want to make myself an image of the All-Highest. I suppressed the name of the All Highest by being silent. I believed in the three persons only of grammar. I persuaded myself there is no All Highest so as not to have to fear him. I sought opportunity I did not make use of opportunity. I did not follow necessity. I did not count on chance. I did not learn from bad examples. I did not learn from the past. I abandoned myself to the free play of forces. confused liberty with libertarianism. I confused honesty with self-exposure. I confused obscenity with originality. I confused dream and reality. I confused life with cliché. I confused compulsion with necessary discipline. I confused love with the urge of nature. I confused cause and effect. I did not observe the unity between thinking and doing. I did not see things as they are. I fell victim to the magic of the moment. I did not regard existence as alone. I broke my word. I did not master language. I did not deny the world. I did not say yes to authority. I believed in authority. I did not husband my sexual power. I sought lust as an end in itself. I was not sure of myself. I became a question to myself. I wasted my time. I slept away the time. I wanted to stop time. I wanted to drive time on. I stood in contradiction to my time. I did not want to grow older. I did not want to die. I did not take things as they came. I could not restrain myself. I was impatient. I could not wait. I did not think of the future. I did not think of my future. 
I lived from one moment to the next. I was self-willed. I acted as though I were alone in the world. I showed savoir vivre. I was a law unto myself. I was weak-willed. I did not work on myself. I did not make work the condition of my existence. I did not see God in every poor man. I did not eradicate evil by its root. Irresponsibly, I put children into this world. I did not adapt my amusements to my social condition. I sought bad company. I wanted always to be in the center of things. I was too much alone. I was too little alone. I led an excessively private life. I did not recognize the meaning of the words too much. I regarded the happiness of all mankind as my highest goal. I did not put individual interests below the interest of the community. I did not respond to the challenge of discussion. I disregarded orders. I did not refuse to obey illegal orders. I did not recognize my limitations. I did not see things in context. I did not make a virtue of necessity. I changed convictions. I was unteachable. I did not serve a cause. I was satisfied with what I had achieved. I always only saw myself. I yielded to blandishments. I did not come down on one side or the other. I did not take up an attitude. I disturbed the balance of power. I violated generally accepted principles. I did not fulfill the plan. I fell short of the goal. I was one and all to myself. I didn't go out into the fresh air enough. I woke up too late. I didn't clean the pavement in front of my house. I didn't close doors. I stepped too close to the cages of wild animals. I obstructed driveways. I obstructed exits. I pulled the communication cord without compelling reasons. I lent bicycles against walls where it was forbidden. I went begging and peddling goods. I did not keep the streets tidy. I didn't wipe my feet. I leaned out of the windows of moving trains. I handled naked lights in rooms which weren't fireproof. I made visits without appointment. I didn't vacate my seat to handicapped people. I lay in a hotel bed with a burning cigarette. I didn't turn off water taps. I slept on park benches. I let dogs run without leads. I didn't muzzle dangerous dogs. I didn't leave walking sticks and umbrellas in the cloakroom. I handled goods before I bought them. I didn't close containers immediately after use. I discharged aerosols into the fire. I crossed the road against the red lights. I walked along motorways. I walked on railway tracks. I didn't walk on the pavement. I didn't move along inside tram cars. I didn't use the straps. I used toilets whilst trains stood in stations. I didn't obey the instructions of the staff. I started motor cars in forbidden places. I didn't press the buttons. I crossed the tracks in railway stations. I didn't step back as the trains entered. I overloaded lifts. I disturbed my neighbor's rest at night. I stuck bills and walls. I wanted to open doors by pushing, on which it said pull. I wanted to open doors by pulling, on which it said push. I loitered in the streets after dark. I lit lights during blackouts. I didn't keep calm in accidents. I left my house during curfew. I didn't stay in my place during a disaster. I first thought of myself. I left room. In disorder. I started alarms without authorization. I destroyed alarms without authorization. I didn't use the emergency exit. I pushed. I trampled. I didn't break the pane with the hammer. I blocked the exit. I resisted. Unauthorized. I didn't stop when challenged. I did not put my hands up. I did not aim for the legs. I played with the trigger when the gun was cocked. I did not save women and children first. I did not approach the drowning man from behind. I kept my hands in my pockets. I did not take avoiding action. I did not have my eyes bandaged. I did not take cover. I offered an easy target. I was too slow. I was too fast. I moved. I did not regard the movement of my shadow as a proof of the movement of the earth. I did not regard my fear of the dark as a proof of my existence. I did not regard my mind's wish for immortality as a proof of my existence after death. I did not regard my disgust with the future as a proof of my non-existence after death. I did not regard the waning of pain as a proof that time had passed. 
I did not regard my pleasure to be alive as a proof that time had stopped. I am not what I was. I was not what I might have been. I did not become what I ought to have become. I did not keep the promise that I could have kept. I went to the theatre. I heard this play. I spoke this play. I wrote this play. In Peter Hanker's play on words, Self-Accusation, the speakers were Margaret Robertson and Dennis Hawthorne. Don Lawson provided the percussion accompaniment. The play was translated, adapted for radio and produced by Martin Eslin.